This is Bill Dreheim from Rush Creek Yacht Club, and check out his uh, blog, which is called Beer with Bill. Beer with Bill. You can find it through the Gus Sales website, I believe, at gussales.net. Okay. And Bill's going to talk to us about Rush Creek Yacht Club, which is the site of the 2017 MC Nationals. Uh, Bill, tell us first of all just about the facility, uh, you know, bar, restaurant, showers, restrooms, parking, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, sure. I mean, the club was established uh, in the late 60s. A lot of Texas sailing is interesting. The, the, the lakes were never there initially, so uh, a lot of the rivers got dammed up for drinking water, and then following that, a lot of the lakes uh, put in yacht clubs and marinas, and this is one of the lakes where they put in a yacht club. And, and their commitment was at a pretty high level what they wanted to accomplish at Rest Creek Yacht Club. They wanted it to be a, a place where you could do high level training and, and hopefully end up with uh, you know Olympic caliber, Olympic caliber racing, a lot of national and international events have been there, world championships, Pan Am Games qualifiers, lots of national mm -hmm. championships. club did eventually get a guy who uh, won the gold medal in the Olympics, Paul Forrester, uh, is from our club. He was just inducted into the Sailing Hall of Fame. So that, that was the intent of the club and it has attracted a lot of good sailors over the year. The facility has a lot of uh, ground. The grounds are pretty big. I don't know how many acres, but it's a, it's a, it's a large piece of land. Not the biggest club, but we have a, a, f a full service uh, bar and we have a, a full service dining facilities when the, when the, when the club is open. And, uh, you know, fairly modest, but still, uh, you can pretty much get whatever you want to have. There have a couple of cranes there. Uh, we have a ramp. Uh, you know, so ev everything you certainly you need to run a MC Regatta. We've, we've hosted the Nationals there a couple times in the past. Mm -hmm. Plenty of parking. Plenty of parking. And um, showers and all you that. You bet. Shower facilities. Can you camp there? You can camp on the grounds. Okay. Um, who are some of the key people that, you know, if you're going to Rush Creek, you should be aware of? I think the, 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 the primary person is my crew, Marianne Hopper. She is the Commodore this year. She's been going to all the MC events with me the last couple of years, so she, you know, is starting to understand the class inside and out and definitely understands the club inside and out. And, and we have other uh, members that people are familiar with. Jack Kern, who's been in the MC class forever, is a member of our club. Uh, uh, Brian Morgan, who ran the MC Masters Nationals at our club a couple of years ago, will be running this regatta. Um, and then we have a lot of good, high quality MC sailors that have, uh, you know, one with, uh, I think Greg Gus has won the Nationals three times, uh, Kenny Wolf a couple of times, uh, uh, um, uh, Scott Slocum's won the blue chip in the midwinters, and so uh, you know, we got plenty of guys down there to, to come down and sail against. We'll try to you have a put a good really for quality you. club, that's for sure. Um, as far as if you were staying around there, uh, are there any top recommendations for staying off site? Uh, yeah, it's it's a suburb of Dallas and it's been built up and they've been putting in a lot of hotels the last few years. So most of the hotels are pretty new. Uh, anywhere from like a Motel 6, a Holiday Inn Express on up to, there's a Hilton right on the water, um, right on the lake. So if you want to go that route, uh, pretty much whatever you want.